Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Zakia, counselor from Club Hill. Club Hill stands for Hope, Empowerment, Acceptance and Love. We are a voluntary welfare organization that aims to support and empower individuals with psychiatric or mental health conditions. We aim to boost the level of confidence in these individuals as well as to reintegrate them back to society. Today, we are pleased to present to you our paper titled Integrative Care, Case Study of Schizophrenia Coupled with Hoarding Behaviour. On behalf of my co-author, board member and founding member of Club Hill, Dr. Bibi Jen. One of the reasons why we wanted to present this case study was to illustrate the importance of communication, coordinate, coordination and integration among the various agencies involved in catering the, need, the various needs of clients. Next, we will share a brief history about the, about the client named Ayn, which is not her real name. Ayn is in her mid-60s and she's married with two children, second of 11 siblings and stays in a public housing with three bedrooms with her, her husband and her children. She was diagnosed with schizophrenia coupled with hoarding behavior in her 40s due to caregiver stress towards her children with low IQ and husband's physical condition where he had bypass heart surgery, receives kidney dialysis thrice a week and uses wheelchair to move around. She has two children aged 42 years old who has low IQ and attends programs and activities by the movement of the intellectually disabled of Singapore. Minds daily, and she has a daughter aged 37 years old who also has low IQ and completed vocational education. Occasionally, she does work part time ad hoc at sales events. There is nil family history of mental illness. Firstly, we notice that when that the, the windows and curtains of Ayn's house were drawn and closed, leaving no fresh air and poor ventilation within the house. This was as a result of Ayn suspecting that her neighbor was polluting the air by burning incest. Thus, to protect her family, she decided to close the curtain, to close the windows and draw the curtains to prevent this harmful air from entering her house. Next, we observed that client that Ayn was also not compliant to medication, which would affect her thoughts, her emotions, and her behavior or responses to such um, situations that arise. We also noticed that she would stack piles of items surrounding her bedroom, living room, kitchen, dining room, and she would place them around the, the living room, leaving no space, leaving very minimal space to move around. Especially her husband, who requires no wheelchair for mobility, would not have the space to do so. As we can see, most of the items in her house are either in the red plastic bags or garbage bags. Next, let's have a look at the relationship between mental health and Islam. Based on the external and internal factors, Ayn was concerned about the, about the society's view of her children who are disabled and have low IQ. She was concerned that they were, view, that they were viewed as being retarded, stupid, and less intellectual than everyone else because they would not have attended 11 years of formal education. And they received, another, and they received a special kind of education. They would not also be able to take care of themselves independently, especially for her son. So, due to the special needs of children, she was worried about the negative perception by the society. Furthermore, they were not able to get normal jobs or even full-time or part-time jobs that would give them a monthly income. Also, she was worried about being viewed as poor as she receives monthly government support 
to help to help her and her family out with daily financial needs. As a result of this, client expressed being stressed over the condition of her children and her husband. Next, Ayn also expressed her worries about hygiene pertaining to dirt and germs, which was one of the main reasons why the plastic bags, why, why she would wrap her items up and put them in plastic bags. She did not want any smoke or any bacteria to touch these items. As a result of this, she would repeat her evolution multiple times to ensure she was clean and cleansed enough to conduct her prayers, but at times she would repeat several times because it was just not good or perhaps proper enough. She would also take showers that range between two to three hours. As a result of these factors, this contributed to her condition of schizophrenia and hoarding behavior. Let's take a look at the integrative approach with Ayn being in the middle. And first up, we've got the Agency for Integrated Care. The Agency for Integrated Care, or as we know in Singapore, AIC, was the lead agency in coordinating the efforts to support the needs of the client, ranging from medical, financial, and support for her and her family. Second, we have Club Hill, which I will share further on in the next slide. We've got the Darul Gufran Mosque, where, she, where it would take her approximately 10 minutes to reach just by walking. The Darul, the Darul Gufran Mosque played an integral role in decluttering her house, as well as providing monthly befriending services, free religious programs, and providing additional financial support. Next, the National University Hospital mainly monitored Ayn's physical and mental health condition and also ensured that Ayn was compliant with medication. We have the Social Service Office by the Ministry of Social and Family Development where she receives a monthly allowance from the government grant that supports her in her daily uh, household living needs. The Housing and Development Board ensured that her house was safe for her and her family members to live in and ensured that there was no hazards that would block the exit should there be a need for them to escape from the house. We have the SBL Vision Family Service Centre who provided food rations as well as subsidising the payment for her husband's kidney dialysis treatment. And finally, we have the Tampanese Town Council who supported the decluttering efforts of the Kufran Mosque and ensured that the corridors of her living space were safe for her and her neighbours to live in. Club Hill provided three main support, namely psychoeducation, where we educated Ayn on her condition and the importance of medication compliance and to also observe any symptoms. We also encouraged her to inform her doctor at the National University Hospital should any side effects arise. Through this, she was more aware of her thoughts, her behaviour and her emotions as well as she understood her condition better. We also developed coping strategies to ensure that Ayn would not feel overwhelmed managing her family and her own personal issues. We also emphasize the importance for Ayn to have personal time by attending the programs at the mosque as well as the activities at the center. Finally, Ayn regularly attended the psychiatric rehab where she was particularly interested in the religion-based programs. Through attending the rehab, this also promoted independence as she would take the public transport uh, from her place to the centre that takes approximately 20 minutes. She also discovered her potential in writing and warmly welcoming new, new participants as well as introducing the various programmes to them. Through this, she also developed communication, learning and socialising skills where she often 
and enjoy interacting with other participants. In conclusion, due to the integrative and due to the integrative and due to the integrative and interventions from various organizations, we noticed an improvement in her quality of life, where she was less paranoid towards her neighbor, and she oft she rarely reported sharing that her neighbor would um, burn would burn incense or whether there was any smoke coming into her house. And we noticed uh, upon various visits after the decluttering, her house was more well ventilated with the windows open and her curtains wide open to ensure fresh air entering her house. Her daughter also noted that her mother took a reduced time to shower, ranging approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Based on the pictures, we noticed that there is more living space for her and her family members to move around. Furthermore, her husband could use his wheelchair to get to other places within the house, thus improving the accessibility, thus improving his accessibility and mobility. Her daughter also mentioned that she was more contented in maintaining the housekeeping as it's cleaner and organized after the decluttering efforts. In general, the Ayn and her family have expressed appreciation and satisfaction over the current living standards. Thank you, we have reached the end of our presentation. We hope through this we have emphasized and highlighted the importance of coordination and integration among various agencies to ensure that the client's needs are met. Thank you for your time and attention. We hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.